Wizards and Knicks, followed by the Timberwolves and Clippers. That is our Thursday night doubleheader here on TNT. But the reason we're bringing you a one-hour TNT NBA tip-off presented by Auto Trader is because tonight we announce the starters for the NBA All-Star Game in New Orleans next month. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. Uh, things are being done differently this year, as you are no doubt aware. It's not just the fan vote anymore. And uh, so as I make my way up, there's going to be math here. Where are you uh, going? Two guards, three front court players <coughs> selected for each conference. 50% is the fan vote. Okay. 25% the vote of the players. And 25% voting by the meat of media vote. So why'd you got to get up? Why'd you have to get up? Because I have to explain how 50, all of... 25 and 25. Oh, no, 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 but I just know. I got to explain Don't how... Ernie, oh, we, we know how to count I'm, 50, I'm, 25, I'm, and 25. I'm going to explain how this works, <laughs> not just for you. I'm, Tell them, Chuck, you the Auburn, baby. But for everybody at home. So here's a scenario for you guys to consider, okay? Consider this. Three guys going for two spots, okay? Three guys going for two okay. spots, and they were going 80 so, miles an hour. Guy, number one in the fan vote. This first guy is number one in the fan vote. Because, because it counts 50%, you got to add it again. So right there. And in the player voting, he was number one. And then in the media rank, he was number three. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So six divided by four, the four categories you have, and that's one point five is that guy's score. And it's good to have a low score in this. Do you get it? It's good to have a low score because it means your your ranks are really good. Who the hell made this up? Now, and next, another way to do the, this. the second made this no, up. the second player was third, third in the fan vote. So what do you do here, Chuck? You add what? Zero. A another three. Another because, three because they're fifty percent. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, in the in the player Maybe vote he was funny. number three, and in the fan vote he was number two. So. Six plus three is nine, plus two is 11. 11 divided by four, Shaq, guys is are too hard to keep people interested. 2.75. There oh, you, you don't go. Want that score. And here's the third, and here's the third player who was number four. <laughs> he was number four, <laughs> Chuckster. Chuck. <Talk. laughs> so if he was number I'm four right in with the you, fan vote, Charles, if he was number four in the fan vote. That counts as eight. Th th thank you very much. You're, you're catching up, on. Chuck. In the player vote, Auburn. he was number Auburn. two. Oh, my goodness. And in the media vote, he was number one. So eight plus two is ten plus one. So now you've got another 11 divided by four. What is that, Chuck? Another 2.75. Come on, man. So what are you going to do here when you got two guys at 2.75? Oh, you're going to have you have to have a vote because it goes back to how much the popularity of the fans vote. It goes, goes back to the fan Come vote. On, man. Yes, Who it do this? does. This is ridiculous. Yes, it does. Goes back so to the fans so vote. there you go. There goes your, the number three. There's your the little guy. There goes going to be like this from, from now on, Ernie. There's your tutorial on how this oh, all man. breaks down. And now, with that being said, can we? Could we please see the Eastern Conference start starters for the All-Star Game in the backcourt? Kyrie Irving, of course. Fourth appearance in 17. All-Star starter in 14 and the All-Star Game MVP. Gives the Cavs 24 points a game, four rebounds and six assists. They are 29 and 11. He is joined in the backcourt by DeMar DeRozan. Great job, people. This kid deserves 28, to start an All-Star game. 28 he points on a game. game. Huh, Kenny? A number yeah. five in the league. Five rebounds is a career high. 20 games of 30 Ooh. points or more in three got games the money of 40. Game better. Front court starters. LeBron James, oh, his 13th straight appearance. This was a fix. He's the all-time leader in all-star points you know with what? 291. He deserves it. 26, 26 points a game, eight rebounds and eight assists. You'll have plenty oh, yeah. of time to talk in just a second. Giannis and Tedekumpo makes yes. his first appearance. He's the first buck since Michael Redd in 2004 Michael to make Red. the All-Star. Wow. And the first Milwaukee starter since Sidney Moncrief in 86, averaging 24 points a game and two triple-doubles. And Jimmy Butler rounds it out, his third straight All-Star game. He is a, a starter for the first time in 2017, gives the Bulls 25 points, seven rebounds, five assists. He's had four 40-point games and a high of 52 against Charlotte. So there they are, the starters for the Eastern Conference. And uh, now when you take, take a look at the voting totals, and there are those numbers we, we drew up for you. So LeBron had a one, 
Giannis Antetokounmpo at two and Jimmy Butler at four. And there's the tie I just described. DeMar DeRozan and Isaiah Thomas and DeRozan gets in because of the fan vote tiebreaker. Now, if it had just been up to the fans as it was in years past, it would have been Kyrie Irving and D. Wade. But D. Wade was only sixth in the other two categories in the media and the player voting. Front court, Joel Embiid would have made it, would have made it if it were just up to the fans. He's because on my he, list. He finished third, and uh, Kevin Love was fourth, and Jimmy Butler was fifth. Now, in the player voting, if it were up to them, it would have been Kyrie Irving and Isaiah Thomas, not DeMar DeRozan. you got to be kidding me. And the front court, James and Tedekumpo and Butler, as it turned out I like to be. I, that's interesting. And what the media say? vote. Would Thank have been, you. Would have media been Thomas, finally got it right. Would have been Thomas and DeRozan. Thank you. you in the media. And no, the front court would have been LeBron. You just told Embiid should have been in there. No, and I, I got Embiid on my reserve, but my, in, in my starters, we'll, I had Isaiah Thomas and DeRozan. Yeah, we'll get just to those. Just because you got it like that don't mean it's right. Well, we it will, is right, trust me. Just because you got it like that, come on. We will get to all of those uh, reserves potentially uh, later in the show. So what you, would what'd you think? Dude, first, you understood the math, obviously. No, he clearly did. These, he went to LSU. Listen, all these people changing the rules for what? Because. What? No, because nothing. Ernie, keep it the way it was, Ernie. Why? What's the way? With the fans. No Let way. the fans vote. No way. What fans, you mean, get, no? fans get it wrong every single time. Well, you know what? You shouldn't have been in there if the fans got it wrong. I mean, because you, you know, play in all the time. Mean, which time? One or 12? All of them. Okay, just count. You don't think it adds something to have the players who are out there every night? No, it does not. Players who are out there every night? No tell us who they no. think are the best players are no. and, and the media. Why not? No, because when I was in high school watching the All-Star game, it was how it was. We used to go to the thing, ballot box and vote, you know, the whole fan experience. Keep it like that. You know, all these switching up and all these uh -uh. analytics and all these crazy .5 and 2.75. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Well, listen, Ernie, I, I, it's think terrible. It's, I think it's important we let everybody have an opinion, but listen, it just my, it just my opinion. I thought Isaiah Thomas and DeMar DeRozan have been the two best guards in the Eastern Conference. That's who I had on fans, my Fans just vote for their favorite players. But that's what they want to see, though. Exactly. Exactly. First of all, exactly. That's what no, they want to see. Isaiah Thomas, in my opinion, is the third guy in the league for MVP. He's been phenomenal all year. And listen, that's no disrespect to Kyrie Irving, but him and DeRoz but DeMar DeRozan and Isaiah Thomas have been the best two guards in the Eastern Conference this year, plain and simple. Uh, Got to be happy to see Giannis Antetokounmpo in there for I mean, the first time. Yeah, I, I think Ernie, I think Shaq has a point. I understand Chuck's point. But uh, I think overall, you know, Kyrie Irving is a hell of a player. He's on a championship team, exactly. and his responsibility is different. So, but what he does with his so responsibility. Is, so is Timothy so Mozgov. But, but his responsibility, what he does with it is all-star-like and starter-like. Yeah. And he has been the MVP. He has been the most exciting player with the yeah. basketball at times. Wait, what about in the actually game this year? Well, who's he's got been, more, he's who's, been very exciting. He's got more points, more four-quarter points than anybody in the NBA this year. We're not saying that this guy's not going to make it. But it's not talking about I'm talking about fans I, But I'm just saying, see. I want to reward guys who are having a great first half of the season. And the fans time achievement award. Yeah, it's about what you want. It's about what you want, about what the fans want. Well, that way forever. Fans, listen, fans, those people don't know anything about basketball. That's why they're fans. I will say this, which uh, and almost in agreement with you, Shaq, on this one. Why wouldn't the fan why wouldn't the media and the players pick the reserves? Because the coaches pick the reserves. No, I, I think that they, uh, that yeah. should be the coaches, you're players. You're changing media. stuff around. I, I, I think the fans should get their five, like the five they want to see. And regardless but, if it, who it is, Chuck, I think you must like you must like that change because you have you have been on the fans' case for ages now. Well, ages well because I think the, fan, the listen because I look at the All Star Game differently. It ain't just your fan favorite. I think the All Star Game is who's having a great first half of the season. Listen, uh, it's not who a lifetime achievement award. We for the last X amount of years we put guys on there because they were great like five years ago. My opinion, I always say, uh, I think everybody, we got all these idiots on TV, you always say, in your opinion, the best two guards in the Eastern Conference this year have been Isaiah Thomas and DeMar DeRozan. I, guys, I, I, I just think the coaches are more biased than, than anybody because sometimes they guys well, that the traded media, for, the media, the media actually against, didn't like, said something to them. While they, yeah. I think that's the more biased, that position of you're right about that, pitching, Jimmy. Picking the reserves. Well, let me just ask you a question. Let me, let me, let me just ask you, all let me ask you a, a, a simple question. What's that? Who's been better this year, Isaiah Thomas or Kyrie Irving? I would say for his team. Oh, my goodness. Isaiah Thomas. Uh, However, that's all I'm saying. Just stop. He's been better for his team, but doesn't okay. mean he's the better player or I would want to see him it, over in All-Star. I'm game. just saying 
what doesn't mean, but it doesn't mean I wouldn't start game but, is to reward. But I would pick Kyrie Irving if I was a fan. I would vote for Kyrie. Irving. And that's yeah. and that's who the and that's who that's the players what I would vote. that's who the players picked Just number one I would. among the backcourt in the East was uh, Kyrie Irving. Uh, Kyle Lowry, who was fifth in the player vote in the backcourt. That's how I'll. Uh, be, be watching my brother as a starter in the uh, see what he said if we had subliminal because sure he's on subliminal. the court yeah because he yeah. said he'll be yeah. watching him on yeah. the court yeah. Yeah. I hear you Kyle that's I subliminal you. okay Kyle. I can't throw them subliminal texts out there you, we Kyle. got you I see you we got it this is how I'll be watching him he's saying from the court not from those stands hey didn't I see something like that in a beautiful mind oh, yeah, there it is you are 2.75 out of 10 Chuck